You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. We're joined in the studio with Ken Rolls and uh, he's going to be telling us all about this year's Swale Film Festival. Uh, firstly, Ken, uh, welcome along to the show. It's always good to have you here at the Monday Night Community Show. Evening, Dan. It's nice to be with you again. So uh, it's your full festival. So uh, what films the... are you going to be showing? Um, well, we have um, got uh, a great selection of films um, and over four um, days from the 23rd to the 26th, that's Thursday the 23rd through to Sunday the 26th at um, the uh, Blue Town Heritage Centre and at um, the um, Avenue Theatre in Sittingbourne and on the one evening in on the Sunday, the last film will be screened at uh, Creek Creative in Faversham. And we've got, as I said, great selection. One of our big features is uh, Shally Girls with um, Bill Nye, and uh, it's uh, a popular film that was in the cinemas back two years ago, but we're bringing it back because uh, Screen South, one of our sponsors, were the... Uh, gave the development funding to the producer to get the film made so it was locally though it was shot over and made over in Austria um, it was supported by Screen South our local um, funding organisation uh, Ken, what films will be being screened at uh, Blue Town? Well we've got a, a great programme over the th three days uh, starting on Friday the 24th we are th in the afternoon, there's uh, Strictly Ballroom, a great popular film with people. And um, in the evening at 7.30, we've got The Boat That Rocked, a film with um, Bill Nye and a uh, great host of uh, act well-known actors. And it's about the uh, pirate days of the pirate ships in the 60s. Yep. And then on the Saturday, the 25th, we go on to... For the young people, there's plenty, and this is a free event. Um, it's uh, the uh, Lauren Hardy, the old uh, Lauren Hardy um, comedy productions. That's at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. And then there's a load of several workshops um, put on, um, as well as uh, animation, the Jungle Book, um, and uh, in the afternoon from 1.30 to 2.30 there's a, a workshop of showing how um, you can make do your own animation and then uh, we've got Mr Popper's um, Penguins uh, uh, another popular event uh, of a film um, and that's uh, another free event that's at three o'clock and in the evening we've got the popular film awards youngsters have been making their own films these are youngsters from eight years old to getting slightly older youngsters um, in, in their late teens. So I was going to ask you about the awards, uh, Ken. And uh, the awards are um, uh, have always been popular because as well as um, the um, celebration of uh, screening the films in the evening, um, we're also, the winners get a trip to Pinewood Studios, which we've been doing regularly over the past uh, festivals that we've held. And that is a popular um, trip down for the winners, um, a tour around Pinewood Studios. And on the Sunday, the 25th, we've got um, a, a double bill, which is Strawberry Fields, which is a film which was directed by Francis Lee uh, here on the island and also in Sittingbourne, um, a, a, a locally made film, low budget, but um, was financed by uh, Kent's uh, film uh, department, uh, which is part of KCC. And then in the after, later on, three o'clock in the afternoon, we've got Tribute to a Majesty, which is a celebration uh, film made back in the uh, 80s to celebrate the Queen's 60th birthday but this is a film that we're showing this year um, to to honour the, the Queen's Jubilee. Ken, you mentioned uh, Strawberry Fields, Strawberry Fields. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, um, the Strawberry Fields was made um, I think two years ago here in Swale. Um, so, some of it was shot over on the, on the mainland around Sittingbourne 
but a, a l large um, section of the film was shot here on the bridge and on the coast that lays down and here in, in, in the Sheppey. Um, the director is is uh, coming down on the Thursday, uh, sorry, on the Friday um, to do Q and A to to talk to um, the audience and give them uh, an insight into how it's difficult to get a film financed and get it made. And she had the support of local um, finance from KCC and the the. Uh, London Films and um, Screen South all helped her get this her, her first feature film made. So that will be a very important uh, part of our festival this year. Um, that is also screened as well as Blue Town at the Avenue Theatre. Uh, there's a large good programme at the Avenue Theatre of not only feature films but documentaries, locally made films um, by some uh, known uh, filmmakers um, Colin Harvey is screening his documentary is recently made on um, the um, Milton Regis and Sittingbourne um, and he'll be there to, to talk about the making of that uh, we've got Dan Richards who's from Animate Create um, a Whitstable based animation company and he's coming in on the uh, 23rd to talk about his animation uh, filmmaking and uh, a workshop and they'll be, he'll be giving Q&As and showing how he's built up his, his animation company. Um, and then on the Friday the 24th at the Avenue we've got um, a, a workshop of pop promo, making a pop promo, um, touch base uh, with Steve Kane is coming in to show how to make a prop promo um, and that's um, from 11 to uh, 3.30 on the Friday. And uh, then we've got um, a, another locally made documentary, Red Sails, um, which was made by Mike Maloney, a Faversham-based company. Um, and then we, we've, we've already talked about Strawberry Fields is in the evening. And uh, later on we've got a... a adult comedy called Ups and Downs of a Handyman with Bob Todd, Chick Murray, film made in the mid-70s um, when the confession films was made and that is um, our late night film at the Avenue Theatre on the Friday and then we've got another Lauren Hardy on Saturday and in Saturday evening we go on to a Bollywood movie with um, Indian uh, snack, uh, a buffet after the film uh, where um, we'll talk about the, the film afterwards and the Bollywood movie is, is quite a, a well-known uh, Bride and the Prejudice, um, a well-known Indian movie that was made some years ago. So a full programme at the Avenue Theatre and we hope that we, we're going to see all the seats full up uh, for all the events. Ken, I know you wanted to talk about your uh, other venue um, in Faversham and also give our listeners all the useful contact details and uh, times. Yes, Dan. Um, Creek Creative, which is uh, in Abbey Street in Faversham, has got um, on Sunday the 26th um, Finding Nemo, which is a, a family workshop. Um, and the, you can go on the website and you can get details of the contact for, for contacting, make, making a booking for that. That runs from 11 a.m. And then in the evening, we've got an Italian movie, famous Italian cinema Paradiso, which again is with a buffet afterwards, uh, Italian food. That starts at 6.30. It's the director's cut. It's a, um, a rare um, production that's um, Cinema Padidi so was originally screened back when it was made and there was lots of cuts made it, in it and this is the full version and uh, we're hoping to get uh, lots of people coming along seeing that um, it is with English subtitles because it is the, the full Italian version the events are at the three venues Blue Town um, Heritage Centre the Avenue Theatre and, um, as I said, uh, the um, Creek Creative in, in Faversham. And 
you can find out all the details on this on our website, which is www.swalefilmfestival2012.org.uk. Also, the Avenue Theatre have their website and uh, Blue Town have their website. No, all the details can be found, but uh, any problems, just go into www.swalefilmfestival2012.org.uk and there you'll get the full four days programme. And that's from the 23rd of February through to the 20th, Sunday the 26th. Ken, as always, it's uh, been great to have you here in the studio. Thank you very much for coming along. Thanks, Dan and I hope to be with you next year. <laughs> That's uh, Ken Rolls here at BRFM telling us all about this year's Swale Film Festival. <laughs>